So we're going to make first use of our uh, newly acquired carver, uh, the T550 clamps. These were given to me by a viewer, and this is the first time that I'm going to use them. I brought them in for this job. This is one of the uh, pieces of cast iron that's going to be, uh, be used as a broach plug. I got my buddy Will over here. He just finished machining this one, and he's uh, machining the other one. It's a little bit bigger than that. And this was uh, the best way that I knew I could hold this thing. So we've got this one tightened down, but what I'm going to do is we're going to clamp it up kind of snug and then I'm going to check it with the indicator and make sure that we run parallel. I've got this one squared off with a square butt underneath here. So I think I should be within a few thousandths, but we'll check it and verify that. And this side, once these are snug down, you can push the body in like that. And once you tighten that down, then you'll tighten down this flange nut and this flange nut and it will pull the part down tight against your parallels though. So let's go ahead and uh, tell you what, uh, we've got that one pulled up, we're going to, uh, I've already got those tight, I need to go find a wrench. I hate to do it, we're going to use one of these all 16ths. I'm going to go ahead and right, what are we doing here? Okay. Not sure if it's pushing or what. Feels pretty tight, all right. And we'll have to draw it down. So I want to find a wrench for here and here, and we'll be back. All right, so it's 30 millimeter wrench. We're going to use our our William Super Torque. We'll go ahead and give that a snug there. There it is down. Snug this one a little bit. Okay. Should be on there good and tight now. So let's set up an indicator and we'll check it for parallel. Looks like we've got about ten thousandths out of square that I need to true up. No, it's a little more than ten. Okay. Alright, I think I got her within one thousandths here. It's a little fidgety trying to get this thing uh, bumped around. I had to put another toe clamp behind this clamp here because it was actually shoving the whole thing that way. All right, so that's within one thousandths, so we should be good. And we got it pulled down tight on the parallels. All right.
Uh, we're getting her roughed out using an inch and a quarter roughing end mill. I'm not sure what to expect, so I'd, it's a three quarter depth of cut there. And we need to go about an inch and a half total and then uh, rough it out to, it's going to finish inch and a half wide. <laughs> so we're still roughing it out this would be uh, one of my final rough cuts here before I finish it but I want to point something out see all that chatter that I'm talking that that you hear that's the chatter that I'm talking about that you don't hear whenever you use that KT mill. Now this mill's always seem to want to uh, vibrate and chatter more than I think some other ones do. But you won't hear this on that KT. I'm on the finishing passes now. I'm probably going to have to run back up one of the sides here to uh, finish my offset. And hopefully that's going to be it to uh, fit that inch and a half roach there. Uh, we used the roughing end mill, roughed it out, and I notched off the top of it right there also uh, so that I could use that inch and a quarter to get the full depth. So whenever I get it finished up, I'll show you. Uh, the cutter fitting in there. Got my stair adjustable parallel in there and I'm checking my size now. So I've got 5,000, so I need to come out actually. Maybe the last pass right there. Okay, made my finished pass there. Let's see if this thing will fit. done much deburring yet because I don't know if it's done. 
All right, there's the there's the inch and a half. this feels just right all right one down one to go One last shot of this one. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I wanted to see how that would work out. I forgot I put a, uh, <laughs> I put a toe clamp behind it to keep the uh, clamp from pushing out. Because they were actually, I was tightening that up, they were pushing away. bastard right here. Oh god. Yeah you can see it grabbed it some there. Alright so I'm working on the, the next plug now. This is the bigger one. This is the seven and three quarter inch and just getting it roughed out. And there is the big boy broke. Two inch broke by Dumont. So I got a little roughing to do, a little finishing. And I think we'll be ready for some broke. All right, we got this one finished. This is the big one. And I do have some pecker marks right there. I was going in there with my roughing end mill and I was being pretty aggressive with it. And I didn't have the device tight enough apparently. And it, it started walking over and it pulled it off to the side. That's okay. Didn't mess anything up. cutter now we're having to make our own shims for this and Dumont supplied us with all of the specifications for the shims they did not have a shim kit in stock uh, we didn't have time to wait on one so we ordered ground flat stock from McMaster in the sizes that were required by uh, Dumont these you don't use the thin shims like on most of your other um, brooches you have to use uh, 1 16th, 1 8 quarter, 3 8 and half inch and it gives you a sequence to stack them in there as you're making your cuts. Um, so we're making them now. This is one uh, that we're doing here. We're just putting some cap head bolts on it so that they slide in and stop. Hopefully that'll work right there. I got Will over there working on them now. So, all right, we'll probably see you at the press from here. <laughs> 